Every time U.S. troops head out on a mission, they know they may be locked in a battle to save the life of a wounded, wounded comrade. But as 3TV's Stacey Delacat shows us in tonight's 9 p.m. Extra, thanks to training they're getting at One Valley Hospital, that is a battle they are winning more and more often. Looks like he has through wound on the front of the forehead. Looks like he has wound coming on the chest. They are half a world away from the battlefields of Iraq and Afghanistan, but these troops are locked in a life and death battle, nonetheless. He doesn't have breath sounds on the um, left hand side. He has good breath sounds on the right. But today, their battle is inside the Scottsdale Healthcare Military Training Center. You have a 25 year old male soldier. You are at um, an EMED station. Okay, so you need to think about what that means to you. This is a brand new facility, although the program is now about six years old. This program provides a way for our military folks to come to a level one trauma hospital and they get the experience that they don't see on a normal base. All military personnel receive some basic medical training before they deploy. But this program is for both those who serve in the field hospitals and as medics out on missions. Here. They get to see the level one trauma and they get to experience it before they might deploy to Iraq or Afghanistan. Scottsdale Healthcare's Director of Military Affairs, Jerry Zabo Kurtzky, says they can simulate all types of scenarios, from the gunshot wounds this group treated to far more extensive injuries. We can do uh, sucking chest wounds, um, we can do legs that have been blown off, we can have spurting blood coming out of the amputated leg, we can have all kinds of scenarios here they never see anywhere else. Part of what makes it work? The realism. The simulators are just like a real person. They breathe, they cry, you know, they talk to you, their eyes dilate, they blink, you know, they can feel the heart beats, the pulse, just like a real person. All run by simulation operators like CJ Cowart behind the scenes. It looks like this. What's going on? I can't breathe. I'm having trouble breathing. To the troops like this. USAF nurse Major Scott Davis says that realism is essential before facing a real combat injury. When you start seeing people who come to your facility that are missing legs, missing arms, um, have multiple fra um, fractures in the face from uh, explosions and things, if you don't see that um, beforehand, it can really set you back and it can cause a delay in treatment. And since the first hour after trauma injuries is critical and whether a soldier lives or dies, there is no room for delay, only for the calm, cool learned in classes like this. Awesome teamwork. It was, ex it was very quiet in here, very controlled. Classes that save lives on the battlefield every single day. That's what we do, what we do. Yeah. We love it. Stacy Delacat, 3TV.